Hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we'll be learning about how we can customize our plots in Scilab. Now let's say I want to plot a curve of sine of x where x goes from 0 to twice of pi. For that, I will need to uh, define a matrix x which goes from 0 to twice of pi with a step interval of, you know, 0.1 radians. Now, as you might remember in my previous video, I have showed you two methods of doing this. One, you can do it by using the plot function of Scilab and the other way would be of using the plot2d function. Now let's just go ahead and use the plot function of Scilab. And as you know the first argument would be the points of the x-axis which in this case would be my x, x matrix. So let's type x right here and the second argument would be of that of the function or the y-axis so sine of x and let's just save the program and hit the execute button right here now we have got a pretty good plot of sine of x which goes from 0 to twice of pi and it is pretty smooth as the step interval was small only 0.1 radians now if you look at this graphical window right here it looks pretty bland and it's it looks boring and moreover it look it is pretty much not very informative for the reader i mean if you show this uh, graph to your teacher or your coach he would be like um what is that and what is what do these axes mean and what have you done right here so what we are talking about here is that we need a title for this graph like uh, which where you can specify um, the title or what you are doing right here like if you are plotting velocity versus time then you might want to you know give a heading right here now the second and the third thing that you need to do is you need to provide the information about these axes like what do they stand for in this case they stand for angle and radians and the y-axis stands for you know uh, represents the curve sine of x so let's just see how do we do that now to give a title to your plot just use the function x title and in the argument section pass a string which would contain the title of your plot in this case let me just call it a plot of sine curve and the next thing you need to do is you need to specify the axis the x-axis and the y-axis so for that you will need to use a function called x label which would in which you can pass a string uh, telling what the x axis stand for and you can say angle in radians and thirdly we need to specify the y axis like what does it stands for and you will use a function y label to label the y axis and it stands for sine of x and now let's just run this uh, um, before running this let me just give a clf command which would clear my graphical window uh, from the previous plot so let's just run the program once again and now I get a pretty informative plot like it tells a heading or it has a title which tells the reader that it is a plot of sine curve and it contains labels for the y-axis as well as the x-axis now that is a good plot to show your teachers or anyone now in this case we have done this using the plot function of scilab and you can do the use the other function plot2d also and if you run it then it will also do the same thing and you can specify other colors by just uh, adding style options using the style keyword and giving it a positive integer value for colors and negative integer values for markers like 5 would make my curve red in color <coughs> <coughs> excuse me and that's it now another thing that you might want to do with your plots is that you might want to plot multiple curves at the same time what I mean is that you might want to study how sine of x as well as derivative looks at the same time now the derivative of sine of x is cos of x and I might want to study both of them at the same time now what do I do to have two curves plotted alongside each other 
in the same graphical window. Now for that, what you need to do is you need to create a vector or a matrix right here whose columns would be the two functions that you want to plot versus x. Um, as you can see right here, I created this matrix whose first column should be the, you know, the function that you want to plot first and the second column would be the, the other function that you want to plot simultaneously versus x. <coughs> but um, previously we have used x as a row matrix. Now why I can say that x is a row matrix and you can even verify it for yourself if you look at the scilab console and you go over to your variable browser and you see x right here it is a row matrix having 63 values or 63 columns to be precise so your x variable or matrix contain is a row matrix a single row matrix containing 63 values however to plot multiple curves what you need is you need a single column matrix of sine of x as well as a single column matrix of cos of x or any other functions that you are using as you can only pass columns to a matrix i mean if i run the program as it is it would generate an error and the error is wrong size for input arguments incompatible at line 3 which would be right here now why we get this error is because since sine of x is already a single row matrix and it also stands for the first column of this whole matrix right here now that is a problem for scilab as i'm assigning a row matrix as the column of a matrix so what i need to avoid this error is i need to make my x you know a single column matrix <coughs> And I can do that easily by adding, by making um, x its transpose by using this inverted comma, single and inverted comma would make my x a single column matrix and therefore sine of x would also become a single column matrix and cos of x would also become a single column matrix. And if I run the program now, it would be free from errors and I get an error. Now, why is that? Once again, I have a wrong size for arguments and I don't know why exactly. Well, I do know now. Well, we get an error once again because we have assigned only a single style while we are plotting multiple curves at the same time therefore we cannot do assign only a single style to two curves so what you need to avoid this error also is I was actually going to come at this point a little later but since I have encountered an error right here so I'll tell you that if you're plotting multiple curves then the way to assign different styles to each of them is once again to create a matrix and assign the st style values uh, to this matrix for the respective or corresponding curves like I want this sine of x curve to be of different color from the cos of x curve so I will just assign them different colors and put them in a matrix this sign these square brackets mean that one is the first element of the mat a single row matrix and four is the second element and since there are only two functions therefore I needed only two style arguments and let's run the program again and hopefully it will run this time and voila the program runs and as you can see we have plotted multiple curves that is the red one the sine of x curve as well as the blue one which is the cos of x curve now my sinusoidal curve or sine of x curve has black color since I assigned the style 1 to it and 1 is a positive integer that represents the black color and cos of x is blue colored since I assigned the style value 4 to it. Um, pretty easy in my opinion if you understand the concept you know carefully and 
now another thing that I wanted to discuss right here is that you can also add another informative feature to your plot and we discussed that in the previous video too and we call that argument or you know um, the feature as leg now when you assign values to leg and if you want if you are plotting multiple curves then what you need to do is that you need to separate the you know title of each curve with an at the rate sign or at sign and in French it is called arrow bar sign so what I'm talking about here is let me just type in and show it to you that my first curve represents sine of x and the other curve represents cos of x so what I'm going going to do is I'm going to type in sine of x and separate it with an at sign and then I'm going to type cos of x and what it will do is it will show a legend to my curve where it will tell that the red line stands for sine of x and the blue line for cos of x and similarly if you want to plot even more than two curves at the same time then you can add another uh, you know function right here and say I call it tan of x and but then you will need to specify more style arguments for that and more legs for that and make sure that your leg arguments are separated with an at sign and you're good to go now if you press the execute button right here we get three curves at the same time however they are not pretty good as they are not scaled properly and let me just modify it and use sign of twice of x instead because that would show you a good you know plot compared to this one right here now this is a beautiful curve and it has three curves being plotted simultaneously and all of those are being shown right here and since now we are plotting multiple curves at the same time we don't really need this y label right here so let me just you know make it uh, inactive by using double slash and if you don't know what um, what double slashes do is that it makes this line as a comment and the computer doesn't really you know look at it it just ignores this line and now if you execute this program then you get a clean plot which has a lot of information to give to the reader or user I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you like my videos don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below have a nice day